Today, I have an awesome meal, which is my tuna casserole. So let's dive in and let's make it happen. So we're gonna start off with our base, cream of mushroom soup. You're gonna need a little milk over here. We have a little zucchini, chopped carrots, Here's our tuna that came fresh from the can. You're gonna to wanna to get a large can of whole chunk tuna. A little bit of cracked pepper. We've got some breadcrumbs that we're gonna throw in at the end. A little minced onion, dried minced onion. Basic Italian seasoning, that's what it's called. Some Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of salt. We're gonna get the soup and we're just gonna throw that right into the saucepan here. We're gonna grab our milk. I'm actually gonna use it all. I'm gonna use the one and a half cups Kind of stir that up a little bit. We're gonna grab our tuna, we're gonna stick that in there. You're pretty much just sticking everything in this pot. We'll throw the carrots in, okay? We'll throw the uh, zucchini in. We'll grab a little of the onion. We'll throw a little bit of that in there. So now we're gonna take our Italian seasoning. We're gonna throw a little bit of that in there, probably about a tablespoon of that. Worcestershire sauce, you only need just a little bit of that, probably about a or teaspoon of that. Kosher salt, and I'm just gonna do a couple pinches of that. We'll take our pepper, we'll do a couple little grounds, maybe a half a teaspoon. Everything's in the pot, it's ready to go. We're gonna boil this stuff up for about five minutes. Then we'll be all set and ready to assemble and put it in the oven. We've got all of our ingredients. We're ready to put it together now. We, you already saw us cook up our sauce. So you got some noodles. Hopefully you know how to boil noodles, okay? So I didn't wanna have to go through the demonstration for you. We got a little grated cheese. You can take your time and grate your own cheddar cheese. I use a sharp cheddar cheese. But you know what, to save time, you just buy it already shredded and ready to go at the store. It's simple, it's easy. And then at the end, we're gonna slap some of those breadcrumbs on. So let's get going, let's put it all together. First, we're gonna start off a little bit of the noodles. We're gonna take a couple handfuls. We're gonna stick them in the bottom there, just like so, okay? You wanna get a nice little small layer going there. Then we're gonna scoop out some of our sauce. We wanna make sure it's nice and saucy. Spread it out a little. A little scoop here, a little scoop there. It's nice and soupy because what happens is the noodles will absorb the soupiness. We take some of the cheese and we just dump some of that on there. So easy, so simple to make. And I'm telling you, your family will love it. Absolutely love it. So we're gonna do another layer. We're gonna add some more noodles, okay? Just a nice little layer like that. Kind of pat it down a little. And then we grab some more of our sauce that we've got made up and we're gonna make a nice layer of that. Eh, a little bit more, I like juicy. Now we grab some more of our cheddar cheese and we just layer the top of that. Squish that down. And now we just put the breadcrumbs on. This is gonna give the, the cheese and the top layer a crunchiness to it. So here we are, we're all set. We've got it all in our little casserole dish. It's looking really, really good. We're gonna take our casserole now, we're gonna shove that in there and we're gonna let it cook for about 40 minutes, about 40 minutes. At the end of the 40 minutes, you're gonna take for about two minutes and you're gonna broil it. You're gonna put it on broil so it gets that nice, crunchy, crispy, cheddary taste on the top. You're gonna love it. So let's let that cook for 40 minutes and let's check back a little bit later, okay? So we got this out of the oven now. We're all set to go. It's been in the oven for 40, 45 minutes. We did a little bit of a broil on top, got it nice and crunchy and oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna just dive in. I'm gonna eat some of this. You just wanna get some of that crust cause that's where it's at right there. Just dig in. I'm gonna use my fingers cause I don't care. That is gonna be so good. Burn baby burn. I gotta blow this sucker off, man. It just came right out of the oven. You usually wanna let it sit for at least another 15 minutes or so, but I wanna eat now. Mmm. God, I love my food. It's so darn good. So you want the recipe? Go to dadsthatcook.com. You can find it there, and you can find other recipes too, but this is awesome. You're gonna love it. Ugh. Ugh. Mmm.